decade check the playlist if you've missed any other episodes maybe the third one's up by the time you're watching this and you can just jump right into it and i'll see you next time bye bye all right cool Okie dokie. Indeed, it is Stony Blockeroo time. Good episode. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Henzoid, for providing the content, even if it is occasionally at the expense of our sanity. Ah, uh, let me in, let me in, there we go. Let me play, let me play the video game. What should I have for dinner? Let me figure that out. Oh, by the way, we also had Infinite Hourglass, seven months, J. Rod and Chill, 49 months. Howdy, Captain, how goes it? It's going pretty okay, dude, other than my road being closed and stuff, and now I have to just make sure to send a message to any food delivery person to just... Tell the person guarding the, the road that they're making a food delivery and they promise they're not just driving through for a shortcut. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Margot Knotts with 32 months. I live in a gated community now. <laughs> um, guarded, by, guarded by the public uh, parking enforcement. Um, let's see. Yeah, Margonos, 32 months, Gutman, 30 months, as someone whose birthday's on St. Patrick's Day. I think us in the U.S. should change the flavor of everything around this time from mint to something that's actually good. Is mint the official St. Patrick's Day flavor? I didn't know, dude. Uh, J.D. Wakura, thank you for gifting a sub. And Cool Guys Nation, 1,000 bits, thank you again. Haas Anonymous, three years, let's go. Miss Snuffleupagus was six months. Happy Friday, Sigmire. Thank you for gifting a sub. Tope C with 14 months. Um, Acid Rain Forever, 22 months. Magic Man, 41 months. Uh, Wowie, keep getting close to four years. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it's something like that. I uh, Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about the efforts to uh, exit my house being somewhat uh, impaired because of you know the whole road closure thing and someone's gonna come to look at the house and they're gonna be like so why is the road closed and i'll be like i genuinely don't actually know for sure and they're gonna be like how long is it gonna be closed I'll be like don't actually know for sure because it's impossible to get in touch with the city my mom i talked to my mom last night and uh oh bro so the first person i talked to when i was driving last night uh driving away from home last night and the fir I, I see the road is closed in front of me. I'm like, the frick's going on here? I ask the dude what's up, and he's like, oh, there's an erosion problem. I'm like, oh, okay. I guess, you know, I've seen a house that has an issue. I didn't realize it was, like, that bad that they're going to close the road. Um, but I was like, can I at least order food? He's like, nope. I'm like, I can't I can't order things to my house? Like, what? Is, is, is this just, like, huh? Excuse, excuse me, what? I can't. Okay. Um... Fortunately, I went and talked to this because it closed on both sides, like up and down. And so I went and talked to another one today. And he's like, yeah, yeah, they just have to say that they're going to your house to do a delivery. And I was like, oh, God, freaking scared me for a second that like I'm not going to get trash pick up. People aren't going to like I'm not going to be able to have house maintenance done or anything like that. Not going to be able to like have any house showings or anything like holy heck, dude. Yeah, 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 I mean, all obviously worst case scenario could go pick up the food down the street. That's the that's the lesser of the problems. The bigger problems are house maintenance. Like something comes up, need to have something fixed. Wouldn't be able to do that if trash isn't getting picked up. Like some of my trash did not get picked up yesterday. I'm hoping it was just because of like a confusion of it being the first day of these barricades being set up. But trash not being picked up is a slight problem. Um. And, okay, this is still working. That's good news. 
And, uh, right. So, any, oh God. anyway, um, my biggest concern, though, is like four or five years ago, there was an issue. It was, it seems similar to this, um, except it was caused by construction. They were doing some construction on a new home, building it, and the construction people, they messed up. They made a mistake. They started digging like underneath the roadway. It caused the roadway to start collapsing. It was shut down for eight months or something like that. That location allowed for a detour to take place. Here, there's no detour that could take place. But I'm like going off of that, the amount of time that it took there, that like, if this is eight months, holy heck, what what, what the frick, dude? I'm hoping because there's not an opportunity for a detour this time around, that maybe it will have a higher sense of urgency or something like that. But either way, so I was talking with my mom and my mom being retired and having lots of time on her hands and being, she's very persistent. Um, she's like, I'll try to talk to the city. So she she followed up with me earlier today and she's like, I got nowhere, couldn't talk to anyone, couldn't figure anything out. I'm like, oh, that's great. That's kind of what I figured, but I appreciate your trying. Um, <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, I tried walking down the street like to what I think the house with an issue is because it's taped off and there's a thing that's covered, you know, with the road kind of going in and nobody's there. Like anybody making an effort to fix this thing? No. OK, just going to just going to barricade the road and then not do anything. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, <laughs> cool. All right. Let me jump in discord. I was hoping that like if I could talk to someone who's working on the problem that but also, I might that might not even be the problem yeah, because I t uh, another guy who it was a different person who was guarding it when I drove back home, returning last night, and I was talking to him, and I was like, "So the issue is the house that's taped off, right? Like, it's I saw that there was a little bit of erosion." He's like, "No, it's actually up up higher. It's like they're worried about another house going like falling into the street." And I was like, "What?" It can't be that that there's both. It can't be that there's two things going on with like, what? There's no way. It can't be this. It can't be purely coincidental that there's also another erosion thing that's. <sighs> so I don't know if he didn't know what he was talking about or if he's actually correct. And the thing that I'm thinking of is just another problem. Yeah. Why not both? Why not both? Dude, I don't know. Hello! Yo! How goes it? Oh, I'm pretty well. It was good. I got a cool. poke bowl in front of me, so my stomach is quite happy, and as such is the rest of me. That's- that sounds good. I had some sushi last night. Poke bowl sounds good, though, yeah. Both pretty similar in tastiness. Yeah, 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 that's why, you know, I was saying, like, ah, I had sushi and mm. poke bowl were, you know, pretty similar. What's your, uh, go-to sushi roll? Um, I quite- I don't know what the generic name for it is, but it's like, uh... It's usually albacore, um, and then I- like, you know, a little bit of cucumber in it, and, um... And then it's usually got ponzu sauce and onion flakes on top. There is a name for it, like, because it's Ooh. done at a lot of places, but, um... Yeah, that's- that's a pretty good one. I don't think I have albacore oil too much when I get sushi. That sounds really good, though. It is It is a very good one. Highly recommended. Is that albacore, cucumber, ponzu sauce, and what And else? usually, like, crispy fried onion on top. Crispy fried onion. I'm sure if you look up those ingredients, it'll it'll tell you, like, what, what that is. Who's that? I learned a very unfortunate lesson about wall pipe uh, when I was doing some stuff off camera yesterday. Wall pipe? Wall of pipe? Like oh, mechanism wall okay. Pipe. Sorry, I thought you were about to talk about you had an accident in your house or something like that. <laughs> like, I oh, learned where the pipe? pipe in my wall is <laughs> because I was trying to hang something and oops. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just couldn't find the- couldn't get the stud finder out and just, you know, slammed onto a wall. No. <laughs> um, apparently a wall of pipe doesn't work if the thing that it's connected to will only output if the cable is forced to output it, like it's set to export. Huh. So I have a, an infinite tank, or a, whatever the multi-block tank is for mechanism. And I set that up with a wall of pipe, but because the tank won't export water to a to a tube or a pipe without you setting the pipe to export, all of the wall doesn't improve the I/O of it, the oh. transfer speed. You know that I've it, this is for filling the boiler. Yes, I find the easiest thing to do is just do a ton of pumps, and it'll fill up super quick. Even without speed upgrades, you can just like I think I I think I put down like thirty pumps or something like that, filled it up in like five minutes. That'll probably be what we need to do. That's like a that's a max size boiler. Um, so this isn't max size boiler, is it? No, it's like eleven by eleven by eleven. Oh yeah, it'll fill it up super quick. And then you you by virtue of having a lot of pumps, you have a wall of pipe anyway. Oh, there you go. But I don't have to get rid of the one that I have. I can leave it there. Mm-hmm. Zine, hello. Hello, how are you? I have a wee tiny little headache, which is silly, uh, but other than that, I'm okay. I respect the headache. I live that life and understand. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have heard, yes. Um Yeah, it's been a it's been an interesting uh few days of house things. Yeah, I uh, I bet. Yeah, my road is yeah, now imagine. my road is now closed to uh, residents only. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? Did it wash out? They're worried about some. I don't know if it's it it. I think it's one thing, but then I talked to the guy who was like, you know, parking enforcement was monitoring the closure and letting people through who live here, and and he said it was some other thing, and I don't know who to believe at this point. Do I believe my eyes or do I believe what he was saying? And. <laughs> Maybe it's two problems going on. I don't know. I don't know, man. But either way, it's just one thing after the next. Wait, so it was close to residence only. Can you order food? He, so it's funny. The first guy I talked to last night as I was leaving my house, I asked him that. He's like, nope. I'm like, you're kidding me, right? This is insane. Um, and he's like, I don't know what to tell you. Then I talked to another person today, and they were like, yeah, just have the person like say they're going to your house, and you'll be fine. So... Thank yeah. goodness, because um, that would have been. I was like, are, "Am I not going to be able to have my have have maintenance how, how come over you, to my house? Would, Am I like how trash? Would you survive? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. what, dude? Um, um, like is this trash? I'm gonna my house is gonna turn into a landfill. What? Uh, I'm gonna have to drive things to the landfill. What the frick? <laughs> how long do they estimate the closures for? Uh, see, that's the that's the part where I'll never get an answer until it's done. Oh, um, wonderful. Yeah, so I'm going off of there was a similar problem of er assuming it's the thing that I'm thinking of that I see and not that what the dude was telling me about. Um, there was a similar issue that happened about like four years ago and the road was closed for about eight months. It was different though because there was a detour that they could do. Um, so maybe that wasn't as urgent. It was obnoxious having to take the detour. This does not have that opportunity, but if it took eight months, that would be very fun and the precedent is there. So as long as people are able to drive, like, to your house to drop stuff off or service it if needed, right, like maintenance or DoorDash, it shouldn't really affect you all too much? Yeah, I mean, the only effect would be if I'm trying to, you know, move and sell, it might be slightly off-putting to somebody. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> trying to convince someone to buy the house that they can't get to? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they can, it's just a little weird. That sounds lovely. Hello, potential buyer. This doesn't happen often. <laughs> Please believe me. I uh, promise it's not actually this way, except right now it is. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, everybody, we, uh, we're we going to be recording for YouTube, so we appreciate y'all coming out. Let me get a new cough drop so I can minimize my coughing. <laughs> Dang, dude. This is just lingering, eh? It's it's literally what happens. Like I just get lingering coughs for weeks. It's so obnoxious. Bummer. Um, and uh, do you have post nasal drip in anyway? or is it just? I, 
it could Something be, else I don't, I, uh, it could be post -nate. I don't know what causes it. It's just the dry itch on the back of the throat. Just, and I remember at one point I got so tired of it. I went to the doctor after like six weeks and I was like, it's been six weeks. What's going on? And he was like, that happens. Like he, it was like, he, it was literally a shrug and no effort. Like, I don't know whether he just didn't care or if it's just like, yep, that's, that's how the body do. But, uh, yeah, there was, there was no help there. So yeah, it just, that's how the body do, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, at any rate, thank you guys. Thank you all for coming out and I am ready to go. Good to go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock brought to you by our beautiful sponsor.